There, the key for flower. I must return to Sabulana. You see, when you're not disturbing me, I can handle myself just fine. Sabulana, here, the ingredients you asked for. You did it. So, I... <laughs> Stop, please. Ah, uh, you should make the remedy. You know that I cannot do it as good as you. <laughs> do not make me laugh. It hurts. You are a good soul, Zao. You have always been a good soul. Eh, <laughs> make the remedy. We will get you back on your feet. Then, I might have to ask a favor of you. What kind of favor, old friend? You say the Great Spirit is lost. 
I intend to find them, heal them, in exchange for my Baba's soul. He was wrongfully taken by the God of Death. The God of Death? Yes. I travel with him now. The tale? The three great spirits? Yes, Sabulana. So far, I have guided Mpundulu, the great spirit of the sky. I intend to do the same with the great spirit that resides here. Can you help me? First, let us make this tonic. I will instruct you on what to do. Yes, of course. Take the ongo leaf. Place it in the palm of your hand. Uh, right. And then? The berries. Place them within the leaf. Fold the leaf over them. Okay. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Perfectly. Now, grip the flower and take a deep breath in. Can you smell that? Yes. The smell of defeat. Of disappointment. The stench of your father's last thoughts as you failed to save him. So, step away from her. What kind of shaman fails his father, his friend? You are nothing but a worthless boy. A failure. Why are you saying all this? Stop! Stop it! Uh, and now you reek of fear. Pungent, delectable fear. All the better for consumption. And, and I, I will, will, child. I will consume you. What happened to you? 
What did it do to you? Thank the gods. The shaman shrine. Remember, he would know what to do.
tried to call for you. What happened? Sabulana was never in front of you. It was a despicable illusion manifested by Kikion, the corrupted great spirit of nature. I confess I should have seen it. I never once sensed its presence. The spirit became so malformed, it used a poisoned tongue to manipulate you to prey on your fear. I see. Why am I so bad at this? The choices I make, they are always wrong. When Baba was here, it was safe. There was no pain, no tricks, no lies. It was safe. The world is hurting me. It is hurting me. It hurts so much. It can feel that way sometimes, that the world is unfair, set against you in every way possible. But the world is capable of giving more than it takes. And I know you see it, because I have learned that from you. You are where you are now because of the choices you made, from what the world has given you. I see before me a strong, brave, and intelligent young man who chooses to champion hope over despair. I see that. And I must see you for who you are, Zhao. I must. Two spirits. Where do we go now? We must proceed to the old junction by the forest bridge. The path to the Deadlands and the village of Ichoka begins there. It is in those harsh lands we will find the last great spirit. And let us go. Kalunga. Yes, Zhao. Thank you. Up there, Zhao. The path to the Deadlands and the village of Ishoka. I can see you have discovered the powers of Tawa's heart. Yes, I obtained it in the nightmare. Without it, I would have perished. It is a great and mysterious gift. Dawa was a peculiar shaman, a believer of breaking and reforming as a means of healing. To rebuild, to unravel, the belief that by having total understanding of the elements around you, you would have total understanding of the self. I know you will use this power responsibly, Zhao. The old woodlands bleed into the deadlands. It is home to the mighty Chokans 
and the great spirit of mankind. This is the final great spirit, Zhao. And then you'll return my Baba. I will return your Baba. Mount Etroka. I hear it is named from the tribe. Or, well, maybe the tribe is named after the mountain? Hmm. Many tell tales of the mountain. It was once mighty, its fire so hot that it could turn the deserts to glass. Then the mountain fell drowsy, dormant. So much power takes a heavy toll. It seems like the mountain is finally waking up then. It has to be the Great Spirit. Gods, look at the heat coming off of those springs and geysers. A consequence of the mountain. Be careful, this is not for swimming. Kalunga, back in the highlands, you asked about my mother. Do you remember? I do. I do not talk about her to people I do not know well. But now, I cannot help but think of her. She is a Trokan, a true warrior of the desert. She left when I was still small. She died in battle? No, not battle. She left. I see. 